Man, how y'all feeling? It's AC Lucky back with another video, you feel me? That's what I'm saying. I'm finna be telling y'all how going celibate really changed my life. I'm gonna call it celibate because everybody can do this. If you're a female, you can do this. If you're a male, you can do this. But for males, it's called semen retention. But for females, it's called celibacy. Celibate. Whatever you want to call it, you feel me? But going celibate really changed my life. Really withdrawing myself from the distractions and the the hub and all that shit. Me really getting away from the media that causes that, it really changed my life. It really helped me think look at things deeper, like look at things different. Like really look at things different. Like really going celibate really helped me look at things different. You feel me? It helped me view myself as a soul. Once I began to really hold on to my seat and my sexual energy, I began to leave my body. I've been ass projecting. I've been really tapping into information that was in me this whole time. One thing you got to know about this, holding on to your sexual energy is very powerful. So if you hold on to your sexual energy, you will tap in some, you will, you will tap in to some type of, ability some type of power some type of some type of like out of this world type of shit you feel me that's always in you you got the wisdom in you you got the power in you you feel me but i noticed a change in my voice i noticed a change in my hair i noticed a change in my mindset like it really helps you mentally it really helps you mentally because this world is very spiritual this world is very spiritual and we face demons every single day we face battles and challenges every single day and going celibate and going on this semen retention journey it helped me build a relationship with god it helped me understand who is god and it helped me really understand who his God is, you feel me? Because in this world we live in, it's a lot of distractions. It's a lot of false gods. It's a lot of made-up gods. And I was that person that was confused. I didn't know who God was. I thought that was God. I thought that was God. But once I started to really hold on to my seat, I found God. I found who God was, you feel me? And... It really prepares you for the next step of your life, for the next chapter of your life. Because at the end of the day, wasting your seed, it shouldn't be, like, you know what I'm saying? You shouldn't be wasting your seed. You shouldn't be wasting your seed on just anybody. You shouldn't be giving your body to just anybody. Like, you got to just value your body. You got to love yourself. It, it really helped me love myself more. It really helped me accept myself. It helped me express myself and just level up, you feel me? Protecting my energy. It helped me protect my energy. Like, really holding on to your sexual energy, it helped you protect your energy because it's a lot of people out here, they narcissists. They, they fake. You know what I'm saying they fake. They want your shine. They want your light. They want to be like you. They want everything you have. So they try to really, like, belittle you. They try to get in your head. They try to do some psychology shit on you so you can feel bad about yourself. So it helped me really see things before it happened. It helped me see people for who they are. It helped me use my spiritual gift that I was given it helped me understand that I had spiritual gifts, like discernment. Like I got a good discernment. I got a good intuition. It helped me trust my spiritual gifts. Me holding on to my sexual energy, it helped me trust my spiritual gifts. It helped me believe in my spiritual gift. At first, I didn't. I was. I was hesitant about it. I didn't really believe. I knew, but it helped me understand that I knew this whole time. It was in me this whole time. It's always in you. It's never outside of you. It's always in you. You know what you're talking about. You know what I'm saying? If you talk about some spiritual stuff and you really don't, you, you on the edge with that shit, but for sure, you know, bro. You know, you know, you know, for sure, my nigga. Like, you know, like, one thing about this shit, it taught me. 
holding on to my sexual energy, it taught me, like, we really know. Like, if you go celibate, you're going to really know some shit in this world, you feel me? And you just got to accept that you know, accept that you can teach people what you know, you feel me? And it helped me holding on to my sexual energy, holding on, like, really going celibate. It helped me be more patient. It helped me really understand my emotions. It helped me take control over my body. It helped me detach from the physical world. I don't care about anything that's physical. I don't care about anything that, that's in the physical, physical because the physical is not real. This is my dream world. I will live a purpose in my dream world. I will do everything I set out to do in my dream world. This is my dream world. I'm gonna have fun in my dream world. I'm gonna fuck up in my dream world. I'm gonna do everything I want in my dream world. This is my dream world. This is a physical dream world. So everything is physical. I can touch, I can smell, I can feel. This is my dream world. This is the dream world. So really holding on to my sexual energy, it helped me realize the powerful human being I am within. I am a powerful human being. Everything I say, it goes. I'm a powerful manifester. You are too. Everything I'm saying right now, you know what I'm saying right now. You feel me? So once you go celibate, once you hold on to your seat, you will tap into some type of ancient wisdom, ancient, ancient knowledge because it's already installed within you because you, you live thousands and millions of lifetimes. You feel me? And I can say being celibate for almost a year, bro, it really helped me understand people on a deeper level. It helped me understand kids. It helped me understand women. It helped me understand men. It helped me understand people, emotions and feelings and mental health. And I'm saying it just helped me understand people. It helped me be a healer. I became a healer. I began to heal people by my words. I heal people by just being in a presence you feel me i realize how powerful energy is you feel me if you around negative energy your energy gonna be low if you around positive energy your energy is gonna be out the roof like especially if you were a person that's got a high vibration if you a high vibrational person if you get them once you get around people with a low vibration it's like your aura is gonna change your oral feel is very important. Your oral feel is very important. So make sure who's in your circle. And I'm saying you got to check and see who's in your circle and use discernment. You got to use the spiritual gift you was given. You got to use that gift and really I'm saying, look at people for who they are. Because people will hide behind the mask. And I can say by... I can say... The good and the bad about going celibate, like the bad about going celibate, it's no really, it's no, it's no bad, it's no bad, it's no bad, and I believe there's no right or wrong, there's no good or bad, it's just balance, you know what I'm saying, it help you balance yourself overall, it help you balance yourself, it help you understand yourself, but you're gonna have those days where you're on a flat line, you don't feel like getting out of bed, but you gotta push yourself I'm saying you really got to push yourself. I'm saying you got to keep pushing yourself. It is it is discipline. It just discipline. It shifts your conscience. And it help you see the world a lot clearer. I'm saying help you see the world a lot clearer. You feel me? I don't, I don't think y'all seen that, but... It help you see the world a lot clearer, man. And it's like... My telepath communication... It got strong, like it got strong. Like I know when I'm talking to, I know when I'm talking to someone through the thoughts. Like I just know when I'm talking to someone through the thoughts. Like <laughs> my like my spiritual eye, it, it had got activated. My third eye is open like a rock. Like I tell a I telepath communicate with people. Uh, I just started to realize a lot about the world and myself once I started to go celibate. I'm not going to cat game. I'm not going to cat bro jam. You got to get on this 
this the celibate, the semen retention, whatever you want to call it. I'm saying because your seed is not meant to be wasting on websites, uh, random females, random males. If you a female, for example, like you know what I'm saying, it's meant to be value. It's meant to be treasured. You feel me? It's meant to be released on the one. It's meant to. I'm saying, create your reality in this dream world. See, I'm creating my reality. I created my reality holding on to my sexual energy. I created my reality. I manifested this house. But like, I manifest everything I have in the present moment by just holding on to my sexual energy. And it's not that easy as it seems, you feel me? It's not that easy as it seems, but you just got to keep believing in yourself. The more you believe in yourself, the more you're going to be able to do what you want in this world like real life shit you're gonna be able to do what you want you're gonna be doing like shit out of the norm you feel me it helped me tap into my creative side a lot more a lot of shit bro i could talk about this shit all day it's a lot of shit that go on when you hold on to your 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 sexual energy like people look at you crazy in public like i got people looking at me crazy in public i remember i walked in this i walked in the store yesterday some lady just like she just eyeing me down the lady that worked at royal farm she just eyeing me down like she was not she was not like stop looking at me like she like a witch or something like a demon it helped me see demons it helped me see like witches and warlocks like i can see a shape shifter i could tell when the person is real i could tell when the person is not real like everything is spiritual once you start to hold on to your your sexual energy once you start to go celibate you gonna see the spiritual side of life i'm saying we really don't see what's really going on until we start to hold on to our sexual energy or or, or when we take a psychedelic or a mushroom or lsd or something like that and what else what else bro what else what else bro i'm saying Dreams be real. The attraction be real. I'm saying, I'm saying, you can see, you can see, I'm glowing and stuff like that. I look different. I look brand new. Like I don't look like the person from ten months ago, eleven months ago. I'm saying, I change. My vocabulary change. Got way smarter. Uh, more confidence. I'm saying, you just start. You just, you just accept yourself overall. Once you start to hold on to your. You'll see because it's so powerful. And I'm saying it's a lot of benefits, and you already know everything I'm saying. So once you do this, you're not gonna be you're not gonna be surprised because you know everything I'm saying right now. You feel me? And that's all for real. That's really all. I I know more, but it's like I don't know. I don't know. Like nothing coming to mind right now. I feel like I said everything, but I know I ain't say everything. I said I was. I said I said I'm astral projecting. Uh, I'm meditating more. Uh, you build muscle fast. You build muscle fast on semen retention on God. You build muscle fast. Like, I could go a week without touching the weight. I do push-ups every day. But I could I could go some days without eating food, just water. Like, I'm in tune with my body, so I know when I'm going through something that I know when I'm going through something. I know when I'm on the right track and when I'm off balance. I know all that shit, you know what I'm saying? It's probably confusing to y'all, but it makes sense to me. But if y'all want a part two to this, let me know in the comment section. Uh, that song got me feeling right. I'm not going to care. I feel like going to sleep. I don't care. I feel like taking a meditation trip right now.